this ship must be cursed. It's the only way we can explain all this evil shit that's happening down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Wait, where's Conrad? Has anyone seen him? We got split up. I, I saw him. I, I mean, Fliss and I both did, uh, right? <clears throat> yeah, but just for a second, I tried to catch up, but he was gone. Gone where? Why? I, this, this just doesn't add up. He could be hurt. Bad, for all we know. Your brother runs as fast as his mouth. I'm not worried about him. Okay, we're going back right now and we're gonna find my brother. Julia! He could be dying right now, we have to! We will, just not yet. What the hell was wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like big time, you almost killed me. What, what are you talking, come on, no, no come on, that's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... This can't all be happening. Maybe, like, one thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. There's gotta be something going on here. What can we absolutely be sure about? What do we know that's real? Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. This should go over well. What do you think actually happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where did all the corpses come from? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. The ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. <laughs> no shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Great. Could use these if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but 
I'll keep my eyes open. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased comrades before. Over here! Gotta wait through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Last log shows them caught in a storm.
Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power, I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello, hello. Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Hey! Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? I got... I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. All right. You and me, Julia. Everything still work? 
You guys all right down there? I'm okay. You see anything? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. O okay, we'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. After you. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Someone named Joe was in the sick bay. So it looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brig. I'm gonna need a hundred hot baths if we ever get out of here. We're gonna get out of here, Julia. I hope you're right. No matter if we're wrong. Wow. Jesus. Might have been the son of someone on board. Take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? Let's find out. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Come on down. What's up? Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Ray, no. Of course you didn't. Um, hello? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So, the ship was carrying Manchurian gold. But that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. 
Maybe it's still here, and it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations, that was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. I don't know, it seems like the plane came in contact with the ship, but just a theory. Oh god. All right, let's get going. You ever wonder what would have happened if we went to Japan on vacation instead? Shut up. What do you think? I don't like it. Someone attacked that corpse recently. Too recently. We need to keep moving and stay ahead of whoever did that. We're just wasting time. Let's go. Found it. Oh, thank God. And it's working. Yeah, this is it, all right. Just throw the switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. Help! You have to help us! Do you read me? Please! We are in danger, okay? We're in a real goddamn mess out here and we need help now! Over! Recovery mission is en route to your location. Over. Shit! Work! Shit! Come on! Hey, look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's just gonna slow us down. No, we should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater.
Oscar et qui plante à l'eau. Je sais ce que tu essaies de faire. Tu veux me tuer Hein Mais c'est moi qui vais te tuer Dis-moi seulement où est ce putain d'or Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur Ferme ta gueule de merde Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde No use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? You can't have all the gold. Then I'm to be left here to die. But I am the captain! I am in control! And I am the one that says who goes! And who stays! Ah. He's breathing down our necks. Please tell me you have an escape plan. The look in that guy's eyes. Even two on one Ziffy. I say we run. Run!
Not changing. None of that. Raise your hands up. Slow. No, no. Not like that. I said, no changing. Just put the gun down. Nobody has to get hurt. You think I wanted to hurt anybody? I didn't get a choice in this, did I? It's in you too, isn't it? Isn't it now? Ha! Not again! It's all gone changing on me! What? What's changing? Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Wait, what is this mist? What does it do? It's life. Bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us, now. Please, just calm down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down, now! Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathe in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No! No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We have a rebreather from our boat. What? We've been using it to get the mist out of us, you know? We could use it on you too, okay? No, 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 no! You keep that thing away from me! Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me, don't I? It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't feel it swirling around in there! It's changing me! On the inside. great. Yeah, sure. Let's just start drowning ourselves in puddles now. Why not? Well, this is just riveting. <laughs> Come on, guys. Where are you? Hey, what's happening? Is everyone okay? Oh God, please be okay, please be okay. I gotta go after him. Well, we gotta go down there and make sure everything's okay. Shit. Well, what's our play? I'll find them, make sure they're okay. You stay here with the radio. There has to be a better idea. I'm gonna stay as far away from trouble as I can. And I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. It'll... it'll be fine. Just keep your head down. 
Okay? I swear to God, if I make it through this, I'll never even set foot on a paddle boat again. something out. Hey, I really don't think that's the best idea. Ah! <sighs> 
one yet! All right, let's try it. Conrad was running from something. He was really scared, like terrified. I, I, I don't know why. I couldn't see what he was seeing. He was an asshole. He was. Honey meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. It's just a big old puppy dog. Try to make everyone laugh. That's it, game over. You're done, for now at least. You could always try again, see if you can't do better next time around. Impressive. Almost everyone survived. Almost. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. 
There are always repercussions. Till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till another year? 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 Oh, death. Oh, death. Want to spare me over till another year? Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands digging hold of me? Well, I am death, none can excel. I open the door to heaven or hell. Everybody's looking, trying to find a way out. See them seeing every day what this world's all about. You're realizing that it's hard, you're trying to pick the right path. There's poor people, poor streets inside the neighborhood mass. Bearing scars of the past, they keep trying to escape. Destiny within their eyes, these are the tears of our fate. All these numbers of our lives that we keep trying to equate. The God is living every day, we're in search of that gate. Pray. Oh, death. Oh, death. Won't you spare me over to the night? Someone would pray once you come and call me another day. The children prayed, the preacher preached. Time and mercy is out of your reach. Lo and behold, the pale horse and the rider who decides the fate of one who made a failed choice. With a tail off behind it, the trail's off in the fire that sparked those who don't know they're stuck on a stale course. Yeah, we all face death when it comes to take your breath. Usually without knowing how many days are left Some raise their chest, others cower when it comes Whether you're living in the towers or down in the slums Oh, death, oh, oh, death Won't you spare me over till another year Well, I'll fix your feet till you can't walk I'll lock your door till you can't talk I'll close your eyes till you can't see This very hour come and go with me Heaven's coming, praying it doesn't come late. This is for real, man. It's how I push through my pain. When ass is always falling and death's rain. It's cold outside. Death look me in my eyes. Hold through these plans, man. We gotta be wise. Hold through together. It's then they will rise. I'm saying peace for all my people that can see through the lies. And can that la la breeze running up her thighs while she's singing. Oh, okay. Take a moment to reflect on Think of all the things in your life that you slept on Or slip through your fingers like Teflon Cause you lost your focus steady Think about the next dawn Saying that the next dawn you'd make things better But you didn't get a chance to make your reparations Better make some preparations But if you're not ready yet Death comes for all of us my friends So you better get
out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. <laughs> Whoa. What the hell is this? Good. Who's there? I fashioned her with my own hand. 